Thank you, Vegega. We're going to see if two women can put this together by themselves. Yeah, so this is the area because you can see this is quite a flattish area here. Yeah. And then I can get easily get um the water from that hose. I can probably lengthen it a little bit to reach over here. And I just thought because I've got the composting there and branches over there that I can put in the bottom. And water. And water. And water. Andrea's come to give her muscle. <laughs> Time to see what's inside this box. Right, Andrea's right, waiting in anticipation. I... Right, I've got, I have a weapon of openingness. Okay. So she's an expert opener. <laughs> I like, I always like to pretend it's Christmas. So these really good, really well packaged. We have, oh, nice color. Yeah, I went for that uh, natural say, yeah, look. Yeah, that's nice. So we've got, these are the, obviously the corners. And then we have the edges. They've also got a, a film on them. So I need to peel that off in a minute. Okay. Yeah, I think I'll be quite good at peeling. These are braces to stop the sides from bowing out. You have top protection so you don't cut yourself on the edges and a little pair of gloves yes Ooh. one size fits all apart from nick okay <laughs> <laughs> and then we have oh lots of washers lots of bits and pieces to go in there so there's a little hex holder so ideal and then obviously instructions which now, is very important and they're quite easy to follow yeah now this one is what they call the where's the little movie it says it's, it's the, the six in one so basically that means that you have out of these shapes you can make six different it, it doesn't have to be just like that you know you can have mm, different mm. setups so cindy you have to decide what shape you want mm. I think I wonder if I shouldn't just go for that for the regular long oblong one something like this or yeah yeah yeah, yeah. maybe that that one the the three foot by five foot one that one that, that one. one yeah yep. I think that will be got? good four, da, 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 two four six so it's ten pieces so you you can have the three by four okay so I'll have the three by yep. four then because you've got ten pieces you've got four corners and six flat bits okay. so that's what we shall make okay excellent and then if we are successful we'll try and make this one i think this might be a round one yeah i think what's this it says it's a yes it's a eight inch high 42 inch round okay right so we'll try one first to see if we're successful <laughs> So oh. how are we going to set it up? Okay. Because you're the expert. <laughs> X is an unknown quantity and a spurt <laughs> is a drip under pressure. <laughs> I'm going to join the two end bits first. So it's a... Well, yeah, really so then we just got to put thing. the other bits. Okay, so I can do the same. Yeah. With these ones. Right. So screw or bolt washer and then a nut. Okay. So if we just do it by hand tight to start off with. Yep. Just so that we can get and then we can go around and tighten everything yeah. afterwards. Perfect. So I've got two raised garden bed sets from Vegega, Vegega. I'm not sure exactly how they pronounce it. I'll just say Vegega, I think. And um, the one is this oblong shape, which um, Angie and I had started putting together on Tuesday. And then I had visitors arrive and we couldn't finish it. Um, and then I worked Wednesday, Tuesday, Thursday. No way I could get onto it then. I was going to then work on it on Saturday. But then I had visitors again and, and, and couldn't get to it. So this morning, and as you can hear, my voice is sort of gone. Um, I'm going to 
finished putting this together and then the other one which is a, a round circular one so I'm going to put them together and the reason why I am putting them in this area right close to pig pens is because there is water here for me to be able to water them throughout um, summer it is a flat piece of ground and it's also close to my composting area and over there where you see all the branches, olive branches and that from when I pruned olives. <laughs> so I can put branches and stuff in the bottom and then um, <clears throat> some compost and then top it up with some soil that I've got. So that's the plan this morning. You can see from the instructions, um, these all different, these different size, it comes in different sizes, but also you can sort of make your own shapes as well that you might want. So if I turn this over and you can see here, there's an easy assembly guide telling you exactly how to do it. So I'm going to have to tighten them all with the hand wrench, which I've got. And then I'll put the protective rubber edging on the top. Um, I do have two bracing rods. Um, I will see once I've got it set up if I need to put those in and exactly where they will go. But the directions are quite clear. And you can see these are all the configurations that you get. So step one is done. I'm very, very pleased with the quality. Step two is going to be now to um, tighten the nuts that I just did by hand just to put it all in place. And um, I've got like a little hand wrench thingy. I'm not too sure what you call it. Nut tightener, um, which I will then be... Um, tightening the nuts with after that I put on the protective the black um, sort of protective piece that goes on the top so that you don't hurt yourself the next step will be to put cardboard down and then branches and then compost and then soil so we are making progress this morning So this is the circular shaped one. I'm now going to open this box and um, see if it's as easy to set up as the other one. You see it has a label on it that says uh, eco-friendly material and it lasts up to 20 plus years. So once again, the box comes with clear instructions i chose this light green you can get like a darker green you can get a cream as well and these are the things that go around with a pair of gloves as well and all the bolts and stuff that you need so let me get this one set up quickly 
so this is interesting. Um, the sort of oblong shape one comes with this tool and then you use your, um, I don't even know what it's called, not a spanner set or a wrench set or, I, I can't remember what it's called, but anyway, you use that. So this goes into the bolt and then you use the other thing to tighten the nut. But this round set, the circular one, it actually comes with the special fitting um, that you can then put to, you can use this to tighten the nut while you use this to hold in place, but they don't come in the same packet. They've come in. Yeah. So the one set gets this and the other set gets that basically is what I'm trying to say. So yeah, happy days. So as you can see, this round one is quite a lot lower than that one. So obviously you're not going to plant things in that are going to have um, big long roots like, I don't know, things like carrots and potatoes and turnips wouldn't be planted in this one. That would be planted in that one. I nearly forgot step one is to first remove this plastic. Making quite a bit of progress. So um, I must say this is actually quite relaxing. Just putting this together because usually when I do flat pack packs I get frustrated but this the instructions are clear it's easy to do no frustration they do give you some extra bolts and nuts and washers um, I'm not sure why I always worry when these things left over but it could be in case you drop one and lose one but I have to say I remember what this thing is called now. It's a socket, socket set. I couldn't remember just now. But um, these make it very easy to tighten. You just put that into the bolt and you use the socket for the nut. Tightens it perfectly. So that small one, the round one, is all done and tightened. I just have to tighten this one now. Okay, so I'm finished playing with nuts and they're all tightened and I'm now ready to put this black, uh, it looks like, I don't think it's plastic, rubber, plastic, combination of the two, I don't know, on the top. And I have to say, this is actually quite an easy process. So... Very easy, so let me just finish it off quickly. All done. It looks quite smart. I've just got a little bit left over, which I will cut off, and then I've just got to do that one. Right. All done. That uh, plasticky rubber thing is all around. Um, next step is to put in cardboard. I've got to cut some more cardboard to put in. And then the branches and compost and then the soil. But I think I've done enough bending for the moment. So that part will be in the next video where I fill up the beds. So as you can see, Nick has closed up that space that was above the windows. He's closed up the space above the door. He's closed up that space there. There's just a little... But that's got to go in and the same over here. So these rocks were precariously balanced. So um, it's just the last little bit that's got to be done. So basically, it's warm and snug inside the kitchen. So while, um, let 
me just chase them all away. Yeah. While sitting doing the garden bed, I noticed Sweetie Pie gently putting a foot over here. So I'm going to just barricade this up. It seems like um, the board has come out. I see there's another place over there where a board has come out. So I've got to, no, go back, 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 back. You're making a mistake coming this way. No, 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 no. They see me, of course. They just want to go all over me. No, I'm putting this back. So with my trusty impact driver, I've managed to fix this part of the fence that they were starting to lift up and that part over there as well. So hopefully... That'll sort it out for the time being. Um, they desperate. To, of course, when I'm on this side, they just want to be on this side as well, so they can eat my shoes. <laughs> but um, I've now got a slightly more fun job to do, and that is to uh, take photographs of the piglets. So the markings we put on have almost come off, but. I'm going to have to try and identify them so that I can take their photos. to get this lot to pose for photographs oh my goodness impossible but this one the light ginger with the bl black leg at the back that's a girl and the black one is a girl and the rest are boys They look so similar to Tim Tam's ones. It's unbelievable. Why are you eating your sibling's ear? Hmm? They're so busy snuffling around. I don't want to talk loudly and scare them, but they're so busy, this little lot. They're very curious about me. little one is a girl with a leaf in the mouth that she's attacking you can see Maggie's doing a good job of moving straw out of her house you can see that's where she lies down in there she's made herself a hollow that's why you don't want to actually give them a cement floor because they like to make themselves a hollow and actually dig down in the ground a little bit 
But yeah, a lot of straw in here, a lot outside here. Might collect some for Tim Tam, because she's always needing more straw. I think she's eating it. Right, time to come and have a look and see if I can get some good photographs of these piglets. What it is to be so needy, I'm just trying to take photos of the babies, but no, we have to be center of attention, yeah? And just lean against me and get a scratch. But I need to get photos of your babies. We need to do a little bit of lying down, yeah? Hmm? Go and have a rest so I can see these babies who are thinking they can eat on my leg. What are you doing with my socks? My socks, it's like they're nudging it, like they think they're going to get milk out of my socks. So Cinnamon Bun had six babies. She's there all ginger with spots. Five of them are girls and one is a boy. There's one girl that is the image of Chris, which is the light colored one over there. What do you, you think you're doing over here? Oh my goodness. And the one little boy is already reserved. It's amazing when they're very little, they're quite skittish, but as they get bigger, they actually let you touch them. Maggie's the next one to have babies. I think she's still probably about a week or so away. She's not slack at the back yet, but the tummy is dropping a lot. So they're all double wattled, um, have piri piri or toggles, excepting one girl, like the biggest, fattest girl. She doesn't have the double wattles, but all the others have it. I love how they wrestle. So at the moment, I've got 19 piglets and I have orders for 17 of them. And I haven't even advertised yet. These are just people that have contacted me because of my Instagram posts of piglets. So people are always asking, what am I going to do with piglets? I sell them and I haven't yet had that... Um, any will be kept for meat but that will eventually happen um, because we are a farm and that kind of thing does happen on a farm so boys that are not um, have not been reserved will be castrated um, tomorrow which is Monday because you can't eat a boar's meat because it is tainted it will taste like urine so you have to castrate males um, and they won't necessarily be eaten people might want them as um, pets because castrated males make very very good pets they are not moody like the girls can sometimes get when they get into season Oh my goodness, you've parked yourself right in front of the gate. <laughs> but these lots, oh my goodness, they're running everywhere. Look at them. They're very active. 
and the little male that was the runt of the litter is catching up. Where is he? I can't even follow him. He's going so quickly. He's just run over there now. He's got, there he is, he's got one black wattle or piri piri or toggle or whatever you want to call it. So he's easy to recognize. So this concludes today's actual video and uh, if you want to support my channel you can do so by hitting that like button and um, subscribing doesn't cost anything to subscribe and it's a great way to like bookmark my channel so you can watch more videos of these crazy piglets look at them i can't even follow them so fast with my phone over here in the meantime i'm being eaten by a piglet over here <laughs> it's like a race course here it's a race course. And if you want to find out more about the Vijayga raised garden bed, the link is in the description below. Um, as well as a lot of people often ask how they can support me um, so there is also I've got my link to PayPal there and I've got a link to buy me a coffee and I've got an Amazon wish list so it's your choice you you don't have to do any of those things I'm not asking that you do any of it but if you want to the links are there um, but if you can give the video a thumbs up for a like, that'll be awesome. If you can share with friends who you think might be interested, um, that'll be great as well. So in the meantime, stay safe, stay sane, and I'll see you on the next video.